Okay, guys, it's morning. We just had breakfast. Um, I don't know. Oh, oh, now I can use an example. Uh huh. Okay, so this morning, <clears throat> I was supposed to have. I woke up really early. Everyone was still asleep. Okay, I heard somebody say, don't walk around so much. So hold on, I'm going to grab a chair and sit down because apparently this walking around makes people dizzy, which is understandable, but I do walk around a lot because I don't even, it's not a nervous thing at all. It's just, it really helps. I don't know. I'm jittery sometimes, but not really jittery. I like to be moving. Yeah. You going to say something too? Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, this morning I had a situation where, uh, I guess yesterday I had a, um, in the, yesterday in the morning, uh, one of the boys and I, we went to pick up some breakfast for everyone, like little Miogo, which is like a cassava with some salad. Ooh, eh, eh, eh. Come on, come on now. I'm <laughs> not <laughs> But, uh, we picked up a little breakfast and one of the women that was making the breakfast, you know, she was like, we were talking and we were having a good time. And then uh, eventually, because we don't live too far from the place that makes it, she was like, how about I come tomorrow morning to your house to bring it? And I was like, okay, why not? And we decided on a, sa a time, Satatu, which is nine o'clock. And man, let's just say I woke up early today and she did not come. But fortunately, it was early enough to the point where, you know, I was just already going to go on a walk. So I walked over to her shop and it was just past the time. And I was like thinking to myself, is she going to be late? And I had a feeling she was because, you know, it is what it is. And so I went over there and I'm like smiling and we're talking. And she's like, oh, you know, I'm still bringing it. And I was like, do you know what time it is? And she's like, no. And so I'm like, it's already the time, but I'm here. And it was no big problem. And so I say all that to say the reason I'm making this little clip is because I'm talking with somebody and we were coming up with this idea <clears throat> of letdown and versus disappointment. And you know what? I say I'm never going to be let down because one, I don't expect much from people. And I think that we as a community need to stop expecting so much from one another. We should strive to do a lot for one another, but we shouldn't expect one another to do X, Y and Z because then we're gonna end up being disappointed a lot. Or no, we're gonna end up being let down a lot. And you want you want to come say something? Anything? Anything at all? Come on, add to the conversation. You want to come? Anything? Man. <laughs> but no, uh, you know, the, the, uh, I don't know. We went through the point, uh, that being let down and being disappointed are two different things. Disappointment comes from within really. And being let down comes from someone else, right? Because you say you let me down as opposed to I'm disappointed. Right. And I say like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, people. You, you, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, say it again. People feel let down because of why? Yeah, people feel let down because um, they expect too much from the people who doesn't even know what these other people think. Imagine so, you expect. Mm -hmm a lot from somebody or you expect anything from somebody yeah. and they don't even know that you expect that yeah. and then when you don't or when they don't perform in that way or they don't give you what you expect all of a sudden you're angry at them and they don't even know why imagine what a selfish way to think that is karibu yeah man i'm happy i don't feel let down that's something I can take pride so in. I Man, that, I think a bug bit me, maybe. So I think the good thing, as people, we shouldn't expect too much. 
Yeah. And no, we shouldn't expect anything because then we'll never be let down. No, we uh, can still be disappointed, but disappointment is much less than being let down. Because when we were let down, it's because we put our faith in somebody else. Disappointment, again, comes from within. So I'd rather be disappointed than let down. Because to be honest with you, hmm? you want to say? Go on. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going with that. Uh, <laughs> because you're sitting. Because I'm like sitting. This? And if I'm walking yeah, around, it's like the you. thoughts, I don't know, they process a lot faster. Yeah. Know, sitting down. Strange. They just like to be moving. No, you don't have anything to say. Yeah. It's like if I'm walking, I'll always have something to say. Yeah. Sitting down. Yeah. But you know what? I don't know. It's good. Life is good. Don't expect too much from people. And you know what? Don't expect to be disappointed either. You know, and don't treat people like they're going to make a mistake. But, you know, when they do, just let it be. People are growing just as you are. And uh, if we expect too much from people or if we expect, any, expect anything from people without expressing those uh, expectations, mm -hmm. we're going to have a bad life. Yeah. We're going to be... Feeling like we have let, been let it down. Yeah. I don't know when I posted that video with the Boda guy, but we were talking about the same thing we were talking about this morning, which mm -hmm. is basically like, if you, the secret of life that I found is if you live your life for other people and truly mean that, like every day you, you say, when you, Karibu. Eh? Unataka sabuni. Sabuni yani. Boom. And I'm thinking that nowadays this thing is very, very huge. Many people. Uh -huh. they... But um, I think many people they expect stuff from other people. They it's ridiculous. Thing. Yeah, nowadays it's like kind of huge, very, very huge. Even for a small thing, you do something very, very small, or maybe yeah, and then you expect something like. You have seen many people like you ask for help, like, hey, can you help me this? And then they wanna like, yeah, it's they expect it's weird. Like, that you will be giving them yeah. something. Man. And when it's like me, I'm taking this as just ah, uh, you you helped me. And that's how we should take it. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes. I think I think we've run into situation, or at least me personally, I've yeah. run into these situations where many it's like, times. I'll go, and again, I'm not thinking like that, so I'm looking at it like, huh. This person's like basically has their hand out stretched like, okay, now. And I try not to accept a lot from people mm -hmm. because, again, I, I think people carry this mentality. It's not healthy, I don't believe. And it's this mentality of we need something in return. And I said, no, the secret of life, again, you, the he who gives the most will always have the most. He who gives nothing will, will never have anything, mm -hmm. you know? And that's in bit. Let's look at... Um, Theoretically speaking, or no, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Imagine you are, you are helping somebody to carry out stuff and then you expect uh, them to give you money. Uh, yeah. You expect them to give you money. Yeah, yeah well, okay. Me, but even still, if you Just do help. something out of the kindness of your heart, or if you do something expecting nothing, man, the secret of life. This is the one yeah. thing I know true because it has never failed. Do for others. Truly do for others. Truly expect nothing. You will always be provided for. You will. Man, I can't even say it with the intensity that I'd like to say it. You will always, 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 always be taken care of in some way or another. Secret. I mean, that's the secret of life. Secret of life. Man, no, I do for others. He who give the most will have the most in business what do what do you know give and take right you have to give something to receive more in business you make an investment you receive more in good business at least mm -hmm. in life it's the same thing chemical reaction scientifically it's the same thing so why doesn't it work this way in the universe it does in nature it works this way you give to receive you give to receive he who goes around living his life or her life for themselves Man, this person's going to be very old or is going to be very, very fed up by the time they realize that they've been living their life wrong. Truly live for others. That's not pretend to want to be around or help, you know, people. It's to truly do that. 
you know, and don't care what people think when you do it either, man. You're supposed to help for other people, not for the world, which is a little, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do what you do. Live your life. Be happy. Be peaceful. Be healthy. Uh, you want to say anything? I don't know. There was another point I wanted to make, but I think it uh, slipped my mind. I'm getting ready to head somewhere soon. I got to take care of some business again. Girl, if they don't see you vlogging, they will not subscribe. Well, they will, but some of them. Eh, 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 eh. This video is about something else. Guys, oh. subscribe to my channel. Mm. Mm. The link is going to be under the description. I'm going to say like this, for uniformity purposes, I can't put it in the description. Yeah, my, because expectation, the video... ah. my expectation is that he's going to put the link. Yeah, don't you? She's going to be let down. <laughs> <laughs> But no, we're just joking around, you guys. Don't look at our interactions too seriously because, again, we joke a lot. And it's like, she's literally trying to prove the point in the video. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, I don't know. It's exactly that. People expect a lot from each other. And it's strange to see people becoming let down over things they didn't discuss with other people. And if you're one of these people, it's time to change, you know? It's not to say that you're a bad person because you have expectations. It's just to say that let's live a more natural way, right? Do just to do, live just to do. It's very manipulative, or it can become manipulative. I can't even say the word right. To go around thinking I'm going to get something if I do something. That's not a great way to live. It's not healthy either, you know? But anyways... You want to say anything? You think it's gonna rain? I hope it rains. I don't think so. I hope it rains. I need to go. I need to go into the rain. To the rain? Yeah. I think the season of rain it's gonna be two months. After two months. Oh, what? Now it's November. Hmm. Maybe December. December. That'd be nice. January until March. Okay, I'll take rainy season. I love rainy season. I just love water falling from the sky. Unique concept. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you got to the end, you are a true... You are a, uh, what do they say, real one? And, I don't know. I'm happy. Life is good. Peace. Be well. <laughs>